Hi. In this video, we'll be learning how to write a recipe with Recipe Creator. More specifically, we'll be working with the page section. The page section is where you can set up actions so data miner can interact with the web page. For example, we can click a show email button or we can scroll to the bottom of a web page to load more data. That said, if you're currently looking at a search results page and you have to click into individual profiles to see additional data, well, this process is not done with a page setup. This is done with our crawl feature. And we have additional information for that on our help documentation. And in addition, if you're currently looking at a search results page where you have to click through multiple pages at the bottom or click a next button, well, this is also not done with page setup. This is done with our nav feature or nav section within Recipe Creator. So that said, let's go ahead and review what is possible with the page setup. So if you click the drop down box, you'll see you have a few options. You can click on one element, which is for a single button. For example, if you're currently at like a profile page and you have to click just one button to reveal an email, the way this would work is you'd open up data miner, do a new recipe. And then since this is a detail page, we would be doing a detail recipe, then open up the page tab, click the click on one element option. And then for the, uh, the page setup, you will be using the advanced finder. Um, this does require some kind of advanced knowledge, but we do have videos for this. Uh, we won't cover any of this in the page setup video, but we do recommend reviewing our columns video and our, our rows video. We cover the advanced finder in those videos. So the way it will work is you click the advanced finder button and then take your mouse, hover over the button, hit shift. Then you'll choose from one of the available classes, hit confirm. And then you can even click test. And now as you can see, the data is available. So once it's available, you click save and then you move on to your columns and then you begin building your columns as you would normally. So you would say email and then you can use the easy column finder or the advanced and then hover and hit C. And now we have that email available. Great. So at this point, um, we can actually save it. Let's say uh, just email one, oops, one test do save and now we can close data miner and we can actually refresh the page and we'll run our recipe say uh, the single play button so that opens up data miner runs the recipe and as you can see it clicked the button and then it scraped it so at this point um, we can now move on to the next option which is the click on all elements so for this process uh, you'll have to pretty much do the exact same workflow um, but the result will be it'll click every uh, available button on the page. So again, advanced finder, hover and shift, find the class, email button looks good, confirm, we will click test. And we are now seeing all the emails, perfect. Um, however, we actually skipped a step. Um, so technically this is a list page. Um, so we want to say uh, first, this is a list, so that's good by default. Um, then we did our, our action. So we actually have to do that again. So they clicked away. Cool. So now we have the email button. So now we click save. And at this point you begin, uh, you begin building your recipe with the rows. So for this, I'm doing the, uh, I guess the advanced process. So first container. Now we have the eight rows. Looks good. Add new column. I guess we'll do the easy for this. Um, hover and hit C. Now we have the email available for all of the different individuals. Um, we could also go back to the page setup and uh, add another one. Let's say we want to scroll to the bottom of the page. So this is what, this one's quite simple. All you really have to do is just click save. Um, there's no, nothing you have to worry about with the selectors. And if you click test, you'll see that it clicks or it scrolls to the bottom. And then it will eventually, if you were doing this in your recipe, it would scroll and then it would uh, scrape. Um, in addition, you can actually, under the uh, the edit menu, you can move them up to kind of change the order. So for example, now it would scroll and then click all of them. Um, you can actually add, let's go ahead and do one more option. You can actually add a wait time. Um, so let's say we want to wait five seconds, uh, hit save, and we want that between the two. So I say move up. So now what will happen is data miner will uh, run the recipe, scroll to the bottom, wait the number of seconds we specified and then click all the buttons. So let's go ahead and try that now. So if I save this and say uh, email to test, say save and 
go ahead and close data miner, refresh. So what we'll do now is open up data miner and we'll run our recipe. So you'll see that data miner scrolling and now it's going to wait a few seconds. Then it's going to click every button. All right, so the click is happening and then it ran the scrape. And now we have all the emails available here. Great. So that was a success. Um, there's one last option I want to show you. Um, so it's going to be, um, so there is a option where you can click on a more results button, um, meaning you would use this uh, action or option for um, if you are on a web page and rather than having um, multiple pages in a next button and they only have a load more button, you would build a recipe. Uh, so you would build a recipe where you again, you add the click on more results button, do advanced finder, hover and shift, and then you find the selector and then you save it. And they will pretty much again, uh, when you run your recipe, it will click this button um, for this one. Actually, let's edit it. Uh, you do have to specify the number of times you wish data miner to scroll and click. Um, cause the workflow is, um, when you run your recipe, data miner will click the button, scroll, and then do that for the number of times you specify. So after 10 scrolls and clicks, we would then hopefully have loaded all the data to this page and then the recipe will run and scrape the data and it will capture all the data that has accumulated to this one page. Um, and if you have any questions, like for the, the sake of keeping this video short, I'm not going to run this example. Um, but if you have any questions, definitely send us an email. Um, our email is support at dataminer.io. Um, and I guess I hope this video is helpful and thanks for watching. All right. Bye.